Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's uh, project starts with a gouache background and here you see me how I create the background. I'm using the Canson XL watercolor paper because it's very heavy and perfect for some tags. And I picked three different colors. One is um, a rose color, a, a warm yellow and a blue. It doesn't really matter which colors you're using, just use the ones you love the most. And you can also do the same technique with watercolors. And I just swipe the paint over the paper and I don't go for any special uh, details or such. Um, the only thing I take care of is that I don't cover everything, I leave some white space. I have cut some tags from the paper using a die from Staplerations and here you see me stamping something to the background. This one is a stamp from the Craft Collection. For the first tags I have prepared some die cuts and this is one of the Tim Holtz funky floral dies, the bigger ones. And I have cut those from jelly printed papers and then I stack those together. I am now using just wet glue to arrange them to my tag. I do the same on the next tag. I'm stamping something to the background and here I've decided to use that flower stamp from the Carf collection. And I'm using the same color of ink because that blue matches the blue on the tags perfectly. For even more texture on the tag, I picked that sewing border stamp. It's from the Mixed Media Mark stamp set. And I just stamp it around the tag using black ink. I really love sewing in Mixed Media projects, but as I always say, it's a little bit too much work for me sometimes to pull out my sewing machine and I don't want to have it standing around always. So um, it's always something that takes a lot of time for me and if I want to create something very quick it's great to have such a stamp laying around. For the focal point of this tag, I picked out another jelly print. It's one that is very blue, so it matches the background perfectly. And here I'm stamping leaves from the Loose Florals stamp set with Bursamog ink. I'm using white embossing powder 
um, to make the stamps visible and also this white powder gives me a very high contrast. I have melted the powder and I also cut out the leafy branches and here I'm adhering them using glossy accents. It dries a lot quicker than a normal white glue so I decided to pick that. I have cut out some words to build a sentiment and I will adhere one to this tag and also one to the tag I did before. Let's move on to a third tag. For this one I decided to pick a pink ink for the background stamping. I decided to stamp a border to the left side of the tag using a stamp from the pencil marks. I will link up all the stamp sets I've used in the video description. For the focal point of this tag I have cut a flower from a jelly print and I'm just placing this onto the tag and I will create the stem with a sewing border. As this is a thinner paper, I'm using just a glue stick to adhere the flower. To make the flower pop more as a focal point, I decided to redraw its shape with a white Uniposca marker.
I also decided to paint in the stem. The first marker I've used was already going empty, so I redrew every line again with a new one. Of course, I also added a sentiment to this tag, and here you can see all of them. I hope you like the tags, and I hope you will see us next time. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.